eating those uh, funky hacks for lunch, uh, <laughs> sipping on a win and jinx. Uh, she didn't wink to everybody else. I just flashed and I thought I like win and jinx. It, it doesn't really bother her, but occasionally she'll see black snopes in the, in, in the yard, you know. Uh, but the biggest thing of all, you won't have to wear most the one inch or the one and a half inch containers that we run. Most people call them one ounce and one and a half ounce. But, uh, <laughs> despite all of that. No, no diversion. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you've got a, a few little items there in your hand, but uh, we want to kind of add to that. And with what I saw happening, uh, when you, you know, presented those to the presentee, uh, I'm going to be really looking forward to this. <laughs> See, I got a whole wagon load up. <laughs> and in case y'all wonder the significance of the wagon, the rose garden, the garden is a little ways down the road, and Louise was always digging rocks up out of the woods and trying to push them on a wheelbarrow with a flat tire. <laughs> uh, so we figured maybe the wagon would be an appropriate uh, item because what else can, uh, you know, that is gone. Oh, I'm going to use that as soon as it stops raining. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, these oh. are yours uh, from all the Sounder people. Uh, some of them here at, uh, some of the gifts from all of the Sounder people, both here and off Uh They were all in on it. They were all missing and wish you well. Okay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you want, I don't know whether you want to open these now, whether you want to eat, we'll set the wagon up on the table, and right. you can open them after you eat, and have you prefer to do it. Before we eat, though, let me introduce my family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <That's supposed. laughs> my husband, Carol, my daughter, Bobby, and her husband with the candy camera, John. <laughs> I can't do me. My son Brad, some of you know him, because he's worked here for a while. And this is our sweet dear friend, Carol Morales. But Brad's friend. <laughs> but most of that's mine. <laughs> it's been so nice working with all these wonderful people over the years. And I know I'm going to miss you. But I have to tell you, I'm really excited about the time. And Spending my days up in the country. I love it. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to this reception today to honor me, and I'll never forget you. Love all of you. <laughs> Carol, Carol's in the recording uh, business, uh, design recording, both uh, video and uh, music, and Louise is planning on, or I think Carol is planning on Louise working for him. She <laughs> <laughs> gave us a schedule the other day. It's the third Wednesday of June, the second Tuesday of October, and every February 29th. So Carol, you just have to work around that. Well, we got to start tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him I'd help him, but only when I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say it, every February 29th. <laughs> Then she'd offered to come back and help us out sometime, but she refused for Thursday morning.
in the corner that says record, R-E-C.